You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on Helsing Ultimate. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here, to, and happy Halloween everyone. Hi Ruronis, to, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here, and today's anime review, we get to cover an anime OVA, which is for today's anime review, is Helsing Ultimate. Helsing Ultimate, still simply known as Helsing in Japan, is an original OVA anime series uh, animated by Animation Studios, State Light, Madhouse, Grafnica, and produced by Jinion. The first 50-minute episode of, uh, was released by on, D, re, on a Region 2 DVD in Japan on February 10th, 2006, which, will, which is for, so without any further ado, which is right here, right now, we'll get to the plot about in a moment, let's review Helsing Ultimate. Let's begin. Ten years ago, young Integra Helsing ascends to he the head of the Helsing organization after the death of her father, Arthur. Her jealous uncle, Richard Helsing, attempts to kill her, but in w doing so, awakens a doormat, Alucard, who proceeds to kill Richard's men. It is Integra who shoots and kills her uncle. Thereby becoming the last descendant of the Helsing bloodline, Alucard declares his allegiance to Etergra and becomes her loyal servant. In present-day England, Alucard is called to duty to integrate a vampire priest and his ghouls. However, a policewoman named Ceres Victoria is gravely injured in the process, and upon giving her a choice to live or die, Alucard turns her into his vampire servant, you guessed it. Later on in a mission to hunt down a vampire in the town of Badrick in Northern Ireland, Alucard meets and fights Father Alexander Anderson for the first time. Alucard has a dream about his defeat in the hands of Abraham Van Helsing, who is from the story Dracula by Bram Stoker, while Sir Integra holds a roundtable conference to report her findings regarding the current wave of the vampire attacks, vampire brothers Jan and Luke, Valent Jan and Luke Valentine launch a covert sneak attack on the Helsing compound with the help of a ghoul army fit outfitted with military gear and small arms. Almost all of the Helsing soldiers are killed in the process, who are turned into ghouls before Alucard, Ceres, and Walter C. Dornez, yeah. who shows why he was known as the Angel of Death, are able to turn the tide. Jan reveals the name of the group responsible for the attack as Millennium. Entrega hints to Walter that surviving Nazi officials could have been responsible for the attack as well. In a bid to increase manpower following the dis devastating attack on Helsing headquarters, Walter recruits the mercenary group known as Wild Geese and integrates them into Helsing's security forces. Integra receives information from Enrico Maxwell, the fanatical leader of the Iscariot, that confirms her suspicions of Millennium's origins. So she soon deploys Alucard, Ceres, and Pip Bernadette, leader of the Wild Geese, to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, to find whereabouts of the Millennium. Alucard and Ceres are attacked later by BOP, units of the Brazilian mil military police, after being declared in the public as international terrorists, as a, re a ruse a, a prepper perpetrated by the Brazilian officials in exchange for immortality promised by the Millennium. After receiving orders from Insur Integra, Alucard massacres the BOPE officers and face off the Millennium faces off against Millennium officer Tubalcane Alhambra. As Helsing and is a uh, Cariot hold a meeting with the Queen of the United Kingdom at their conference is interrupted by the message of the from the Major Vivaya live video 
transmission brought by the uh, secret Schrodinger, citing his intention to the wage war on England. Meanwhile, a VTOL aircraft carrier called the Eagle gets hijacked by the first lieutenant, Rip Van Winkle, and a small squadron of double S soldiers from the Millennium. Intrica sends Alucard abroad on the SR particular 71 to take care of the perpetrators and Rip Van Winkle, in which he ruthlessly kills all of them, and his Rip Van Winkle turned one of them into many of his familiars, while the Major begins to move to London to drive England into another war. Yep. While Elucard remains trapped in the on the Eagle, Millennium starts attacking London. Zorin Blitz is told to head toward Helsing Head HQ with a small group of soldiers. With the rest of the vampires attack London, they kill thousands of civilians and attempt to capture Antigra. She manages to escape the vampire air SS soldiers after, only after Walter sacrifices himself to hold them off. However, Walter is captured by himself, himself by the captain. When the vampire's Soldiers manage to corner her. She is saved and later captured by a large group of pistol welding in Isakariot priests, led by Alexander Anderson, Hankel Wolf, and Yumi Takaki. After the credits, Alucard uses his powers to steer the eagle towards London. At the battle commences. Back at the Vatican, Enrico Maxwell, the head of the Section X. Three Eyes Isakariot is given a major promotion, and with it, it be he begins to mobilize the Vic Vatican's fighters. Meanwhile, in the heart of London, meanwhile, while Tigra is busy convincing the Isakariot members to escort her home, the Helsing Mansion is under siege by Zorin Blitz and her forces. The only line of defense against their this assault is our Captain Bernadotte, his wild geese, and Cirrus. As the battle rages on, they must deal with the resilient vampire Nazi forces, as well as Zorin's mysterious power of illusion that destroys the geese from within. The quick thinking of Cirrus frees them from Zorin's grip, but the battle is not over. After an attempted stolen kiss, the group splits up. Saris in one direction, and the geese in the other, but not before promising each other they'll come out alive. OVA 6 features a CD drama of Crossfire. While Saris is successfully overcoming Zorin's soldiers, Bernadotte and his forces are being slaughtered. Saris comes to their rescue and destroys most of the Zorin's forces. Zorin then delves deep into Saris' memories, forcing her to relieve her painful childhood as she watched as her parents murdered by gangsters and her mother's corpse being raped after Saris was shot by one of the robbers. While Saris is trapped in the illusion, Zorin hacks off her arm, stabs th her through the back, cuts her eyes, Bernadotte, Tries to escape with the badly wounded Cirrus, but Zorin stabs him through the back. He kisses Cirrus in his agony, then tells her to bite him. Tearfully, she does so, healing most of his wounds, except her left arm, which spews shadow matter. Cirrus destroys all of Zorin's forces, then attacks and kills Zorin. Cirrus then leaves the mansion and heads off to destroy the remaining vampires and ghouls in the city, as Vatican forces loom in the horizon as well. The Vatican forces led by Enrico Maxwell begin to attack the remaining Millennium forces along with the surviving citizens of London. Walter, now a vampire, joins forces with the Major. Alexander Anderson is enraged because he believes well Maxwell has become drunk with power and ab is abusing God's power. The armed priests led by Henico Wolf and Yumi Takaki come close to capturing Antigra, but Cirrus saves her. Alucard stands atop the eagle as it floats down the Thames, now returns to London, joins the battle, encountering the two other trump cards, Anderson and the Captain. Antigra releases his control art resurrection to level zero. Alucard to summon millions of familiars to the, bat the battle. Enrico, Maxwell, and Anderson realizes that Alucard is in fact Count Dracula, or Vlad the Impaler. Yeah, you guessed it. Alucard's forces easily 
kill overwhelmed of all of the Issacharian Millennium Forces, and Maxwell is killed shortly after or what you... Alucard meets up with Integra and Cirrus. Anderson and Alucard fight each other, but Alucard is the, has the upper hand in remaining the, in the priests, coming to aid Anderson against Alucard. Anderson uses Hel Elena's nail to become a mo monster against Alucard, sending him in his familiar place. Within the episode was released th the first animated episode of the Dawn of a uh, prequel to Helsing. A dying Alucard envisions his past as Vlad the Impaler, recalling how he was has raped as a child by the Ottoman Sultan, he envisions himself during his war against the Turks, stating the knights that praying to God is pointless unless you are able, willing to work for your prayer, otherwise it's ju it is just begging he is shown, being carried off to execution bef before being beheaded, drinks the blood and of the battlefield and becomes a vampire. He is then awoken by the pleading of Ceres, who is in trying in vain to help to help him against Priest Anderson of the Vatican. Alucard rips, manages to rip Anderson's heart out and crushes it, and removing Helena's nail. The priest hears the laughter of the children and saying a final amen before dying. Suddenly, Walter appears, crushing the remains of Anderson. Shocked at the newly vampire Walter, Integra and Cirrus question him. Walter kills Yumi and realizes that he now stands alone as the Angel of Death. Heinkel is shot by the captain and badly injured, but is spared. Alucard and Walter prepare to fight, while Integra and Cirrus are invited aboard as well on the Major Zeppelin to face him as the fight goes on. Walter is growing unstoppable to a vampire, the vampirization predator, but Walter pierces Alucard's heart with a pipe, only for the body and to be revealed as a decoy. Alucard then appears from behind, punches Walter, the damage forcing his body and age to regress from the young boy 60 years ago. Alucard reveals himself in the form of a girl he assumed during the war, calling Walter a child who has not changed in 60 years as well. Interga and Cirrus and battle the remains of the Millennium aboard the Zeppelin until the captain intercepts them with Cirrus staying to fight while Interga proceeds onward. Outside, Alucard begins to absorb the rivers of blood from the dead through the Major had plan on his moment to defeat him. Elsewhere, Cirrus struggle against the captain, who turns out to be a werewolf. You guessed it. Cirrus outmatched by the captain, but is eventually aided by the familiar Bernadotte, who uses the silver tooth to slay the werewolf. Interga uses the Major, but shields aids her attack, which leads leaves them to both, both to witness Alucard's defeat. Sean Rodinger allow his body to, while the Major explains that his power on me as long as he is uh, self-aware, but he is alive, but the millions live within the rivers of blood uh, flowing to Alucard negotiate ex awareness existence as well. The neg neg negation spreads to Alucard, which forces him to disappear. While Cirrus, Integra, outside Walter, is attacked by Hinkle through the wa un wounded Walter, escapes into the Zeppelin. Inside, Cirrus is able to uh, pierce the shield to damage the Major. And it is revealed that he is actually a cyborg, although he defeats his humanity while challenging Integra, the resulting shootout that kills the Major and blinds Integra in her left eye. Meanwhile, Walter confronts the, and kills the Doctor, then passes away, acknowledging his death, Integra, and orders Ceres to bring them home. Thirty years later, Issacharia visits the new Helsing headquarters, but is turned away when Hinkle... Oh, as the new trump card and Chief Maku make onto the next crusade, the knight Alucard appears at the old at their Integra's bed. He explains that to her and Cirrus that the reason he was gone for so long, the millions of with lives with him, were clouding his awareness. He killed them, except one of them saying, "I have returned here, but I'm also no always nowhere." The truth is, if it is, I'm anywhere, including that shard. Oh, Dinger is one of the soul he didn't kill. Intriga was starving. It's the vampire starving some of the blood, and they all accept his return. So that's going to be it for my anime review on Helsing. Thank you for Ultimate. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on this anime. I know this has 10 episodes on there, because this is, anime has very 
true and very faithful to the original manga, because it only has 10 episodes anyways, I guess. Hope subscribe for content my anime plant link in the description below. You can share this video on your Twitter and Facebook if you have a Twitter and Facebook account on all social media. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave in the comments in the comment section below on this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Roni K95. Feel free to join my channel, especially new on my channel. Hit the notifications bell button as well. And be sure keep it otaku for this anime review. And got another one coming up here. Stay tuned for my next anime review. We're going to review another 80s anime that is introduced as Voltron with my anime review on Beast King Go Lion. Stay tuned for my next anime review on Beast King Go Lion, because you won't want to miss another anime review, and Happy Halloween!